Hey, this is George, and I'd like to talk about the reports and charts feature of George's budget for Excel. Um, right now, I'm in the account summary sheet, and this is basically a listing of the various accounts that you have entered into uh, the program and the register balances. Uh, the purpose of the, of the reports and charts is to provide um, summary data of all the transactions that you have entered into um, these various accounts and to produce reports and charts for you so that you can see um, what is happening with your money. Um, so for example if we take a look at this particular account, this credit card account, um, you can see that there's a lot of transactions that have been entered in here. Um, uh, so for example what if you would like to know um, what, how much has been spent on groceries for let's say this month or what about last month or what about um, last all of last year um, the reports and charts will help you produce that data now you can also um, use the filter commands um, within each of these registers to filter the data to get some of that information however uh, those filter commands strictly apply to the data within each of those registers um, if you want to get data um, from all of the registers you need to use the reports and charts so if I go back to the account summary here um, these reports and charts will grab data from all of these different registers and um, summarize them there is an exception to that rule um, and that is if you use a filter in any or all of these registers to filter out um, some or all of the transactions those transactions that are filtered out um, and hidden will not be shown in the reports and charts. So for example, if I just want data from these three um, accounts and I want to exclude the checking account, well I could go to that account, I could use the filter to filter out all of the transactions and for this particular account what I will do is say show me the transactions for next month well I have no transactions in the next month so I'll go ahead and click that and if you look in the lower right hand corner uh, excuse me lower left hand corner of Excel it says zero transactions um, have been found so um, if I run a report if I go to reports and charts here and run run, of the, uh, run one of these reports it will exclude that particular account so that can actually be very helpful if you're trying to um, pinpoint certain accounts in the reports and charts. I'm going to go back to the account summary. I'm going to go back to that particular account. I'm going to remove that filter because I want to see the data from all the accounts and all the transactions. I'm going to now go to the reports um, sheet and I'm going to run this report here, the actual expenses versus budgeted expenses and I'm going to run it for this month. Now the actual expenses is the amounts that are in the registers. The budgeted amounts are the amounts that you set in the category list and budget sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and click there and for example I'm going to scroll down to the expenses and you can see here various um, categories um, which actually you can create um, your own and um, next to that are the budget amounts that have been set for each of those, which is uh, amounts that you set. Let's focus in on two of these. Um, let's look at groceries. Groceries for this particular example has been set a budget of $300. And let's look at uh, restaurants and dining. Um, that has been set a budget of $50. Okay, so keep those, bear those in mind as we run these reports. I'm going to go back to the account summary. I'm going to go to the reports and chart. I'm going to go ahead and run the actual expenses versus budgeted expenses for this month. And we will be able to see um, specifically what is happening um, for this month. Now notice these are all, on the left hand side here, these are all the expenses that we incurred um, for this month. Okay, uh, which was, for purposes of this report, um, the current month is March of two thousand. In the current year is March of two thousand nine. The lighter blue here is the budgeted amounts. The darker blue here is the actual expenses. Um, restaurants and dining. Notice that we went over budget. Um, groceries were well under budget, just a little over halfway. Okay. If we want to see the actual data, 
Okay, we can see here groceries. We still have left $129.11. And restaurants and dining, we went over by $41.54. So let's do this. Let's add another transaction um, to the register for groceries. Let's go back to the chart and let's take a look at it. It's about a little over halfway. So the idea is that as you're um, going through the month, you enter your transactions and then you run the report so that you can see how you're doing compared to budget. So this particular transaction was entered, um, was put on the credit card. So let's enter the current date, which is 326 for purposes of this um, um, demonstration. Uh, let's see, went to Publix, which is a grocery store. Uh, let's put it all towards groceries and let's the amount spent there was one hundred dollars which is entered as a negative because it's an outflow and let's go to reports and charts so i'm going to click the button right up here in the left uh, upper right hand corner i'm going to rerun that same report and let's look at um the groceries amount to see how it is has changed in the reports and charts so look right here groceries now look we're almost getting close to the budget okay let's go to the rep uh, report and let's look at groceries and now there's only twenty nine dollars and eleven cents left um, in the budget for groceries so that is really helpful to run as you go through the month to see how you're doing compared to your budget um, let's go back to the um, reports and charts and remember that um, restaurants and dining was over budget right so let's run a single category actual amounts um, and I'm going to run it for the last 12 months and I can choose a category here or I can just type it in and it'll pop up and I'm going to run the restaurants and dining category because I want to see what's happening over the last 12 months with restaurants and dining the single category report really lets you focus in on that one category okay so as you can see here this dates back to March of 2008 and it goes all the way through February of 2009 and there's definitely a trend here and that is that this particular category um, is um, each month it looks like we're spending a little bit more uh, going out a little bit more so it looks like back over a year ago we were just spending around twenty to thirty dollars and now it looks like we've almost tripled that um, or quadrupled that and all the way up to uh, eighty dollars um, let's go to the report here and you can see the actual amounts it was only $23, about $23, and now it's all the way up to 77 almost $77 and change. You can also see the total amount um, for the last 12 months. Um, what's helpful here is something called a detailed report. And let's look at this particular month, the most recent uh, in this report, which is February of 2009, 77 82. I'm going to go to the detailed report. I'm going to scroll down to that month okay right here and you can specifically see uh, where the purchases were made how much they uh, were and the number of times so that really helps you drill down into the data um, to see what is happening I can go back to the chart go back to the report okay I'm gonna go back to the reports and chart I want to show you one more um, report this is the actual income less actual expenses basically like an income statement I'm gonna run it for all of last year okay so it's going to show me the data for all of last year um, starting with in last year in this case would have been 2008 so we can see here January of 2008 I'm going to scroll over all the way through December of 2008 okay I'm going to go take a look at the left hand side here here's all the income categories um, and each month it shows you the amounts spent on those or uh, received on those income categories um, and also the totals um, uh, below that are all the expense categories, um, the expense totals, and then there's a net amount, okay, that um, gives you income minus expenses. Um, if I go across here, there's also grand totals. So, for example, this is really helpful if you want to see the total um, spent on groceries for all of last year, 2008, you have that amount right there, 3,452. Um, here's the total brought in of all of 2008 and here's the total spent in all of 2008 and here's the net amount so that report is really helpful um, so that is a basic overview of the reports and charts feature of Georgia's budget for Excel